know what it is. It's your boy Tunchi, and this is YBE TV. Today, I wanted to talk to you about Dunn's numbers and the changes that has been made. So, I wanted to do somewhat of an updated thing. Before we get into that, I wanted to definitely first, I wanted to tell you guys we got an event coming up. It is going to be um, at Myrtle Beach between July 28th. 26th and 28th we coming out we're doing a seminar we're going to teach people about trucking and we're going to have a lot of different activities and water sports and uh we're going to have a lot a lot we're going to feed you guys too as well so what i'm um um uh, like we we're going to have a ball we're going to definitely have a ball and enjoy ourselves and give it out a lot of good information last but not least go to ybetv.org slash shop and you can pick up the business course the business uh, marketing course, the business uh, we we do business T-shirts, we do business, we do actual. We are doing safety vests now. We doing aprons and hats and all types of stuff with the cooking hats and everything. So we doing a lot of great stuff. All right, moving on. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Duns and Bradstreet. Now, when it comes to Duns and Bradstreet, people are like, what is that? When you're trying to deal with business credit, you are going to get a Duns number. And they're going to hold your business credit profile. Now, our business marketing course goes into detail about that. If you have the marketing course, you're already following along. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, not marketing course, business credit course. It goes on to tell you about your Duns number, how to get it, what is Duns and Bradstreet, blah, 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 all these great things, right? Now, for the people who have the course or the people who already know about Duns and Bradstreet or are thinking about like, hey, I want to deal with Duns and Bradstreet. I want to get some stuff going. I want to tell you guys that Duns and Bradstreet is an independent company that is used mostly by a lot of business creditors. They, a lot of them check it. They do a lot of different things, right? Now, the thing about Duns and Bradstreet is they are a business, and they thrive on capitalism. When I tell you this, they thrive on capitalism. So I want to tell you guys a few tri tricks how not to get sucked in when it comes to Duns and Bradstreet. Now, Duns and Bradstreet has a website that you can go to so you can apply for a Duns number. It is iUpdate.dnb.com. Now, when you go there, it's definitely a waste of time. If you go there and you fill in all the information about your business, you then purchase the business credit course. You're going through it. You say, okay, I'm about to apply for my Duns and Bradstreet number. Let me go to iUpdate and apply. Yeah. Good luck. You're going to put in all that new business information that you just got. You got your corporate phone number, your corporate address. You got you like, let me put this profile up so I could be on fire with d and They're going to shoot you an error code, and they're going to say, call in. Okay? When you call in, guess what's going to happen? You're going to call in, and you're going to get customer service rep. They're going to be like, hey, how are you doing? And they're going to try to sell you a package that costs $1,500 per year. If you watch my credit course, you're going to say, I don't need that. Tune already showed me who, what, when, where, and why, how to get business credit. Who, what, when, where, and why to the, the companies to apply for. So I'm good. I know how to set it up. And they're going to push. They're going to struggle. They're going to struggle. Well, it's going to be people you do business with that you can get put on your report now. What about the few you get? It's not going to go on now. They don't report. They don't report. They, but they don't tell you that they're only going to fix your profile for Duns and Bradstreet. What about Equifax business and Experion business? You know, what about those two? They don't report to them. But if you go and you get an account with Amazon after you, you know, you go through the tiers the correct way that I show you and you get you an Amazon account without using your social, they report to all three bureaus. When you do a purchase with them and pay it back, they report to all three bureaus. It, it's just... It's just, it's, it's a lot. So, they will take advantage of the person that does not know. So, stay strong. And when you tell them and you stand your ground and say, listen, I'm not doing this. Okay? I am not doing this. What I am going to do, I'm going to uh, go and do what I need to do. And I don't need you to do it for me. Give me the free one. They're going to finally give up and say, all right, we're going to email you the link to the real page that you can fill it out. They're going to email you the link to the real page. They won't even tell you over the phone what the link is. They're going to email it to you. So now Duns and Bradstreet, it's actually pretty genius. 
what they do is they get people that's trying to get the free Don's number. They redirect them back to them, get them on the phone with a salesman, and shoot they shot. Now, if out of 20 people that was trying to sign up for the free one, three of them get the $1,500 package, that's $4,500 a year that they are making off a person that don't have this information. That guess who just gave it to you for what? For free. Yes. So I just gave you that information for free. So use it, take advantage of it, and do what you need to do. And I hope that's helpful to somebody out there in the YBE world. That's your boy Tucci signing off. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. YBE.